record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man before. Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cash view. Today we have Kurt Busch in the number one Chevy SS for 2021. Of course, this is the Moss Energy paint scheme. I have a couple decal sets of these thanks to uh, my good buddy Diecast Buffet for giving me that opportunity. I've bought a couple off of them and I think he kind of gifted some too. I don't, I don't remember which one was which. But nonetheless, I absolutely love making the Moss Energy paint schemes for whatever reason. I've made a couple so far. I've made, let's see, I got one behind me. I made the Ty Gibbs for 2022. That was a mix of Pato's decals and my own decals. I made the Kurt Busch 2022 Moss Energy paint scheme. I made a 2019 and 2018 uh, Kurt Busch paint scheme, of course, being the Moss Energy scheme. And I've even made some alternative paint schemes, so... Yeah, I mean, they're a fantasy, but still, I, I like making the monster schemes. I don't know why. They're so plain, but they're so simple at the same time. You can't go wrong with black and green. So I've had this one done for about a couple weeks. I just haven't really got around to reviewing it. I did kind of mess up a little bit on it, though. I did mess up the back windshield right there. I just kind of dug a little too far, and I think my uh, drill bit slipped and ended up hitting the rear windshield, which, you know, obviously sucks. But, you know, it happens. I've done it before. There's been so many times where I didn't mess it up, but this time was a little unfortunate, and I did not have a replacement piece, so I couldn't really, you know, kind of fix that. I did try to uh, push the bubble back down, which helped a lot, actually, and I tried to get some of that uh, torn up plastic bits out of there, so it looks a lot better than it did, I will say that, but nonetheless, it still has a small little issue on the back windshield. Now, at first, I had no intention to sell this paint scheme because I was going to, or just specific car, because I thought he won in 2021 with a monster scheme, but he didn't. He won with the, uh, uh, was it Gear right? Maybe? Uh, something like that? He, he won something, but it was not the monster energy scheme, so I kind of built it thinking I was going to make a custom of a race win, and he won in 2019 and not 2020, or no, 2020 and then 2021 was the non-monster scheme, so I thought I was going to be making a scheme and it turns out that's not really how it happened. So next time I'll be making the 2020 scheme and then making, I think it was a playoff race, and I'll be making that race win as well. Which I do plan on making pretty much every Kurt Busch win ever. So, uh, well not ever, but I've, I think I went back to 2013 Martinsville and up, or 2015 Martinsville and up. I think it was 2015 actually. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, either way, <laughs> we're going to be making a lot of Kurt Busch cars here very soon. But again, this is a 2021 edition. Uh, so, you know, pretty cool. This is the Pados version. I did not print these decals myself. Once again, huge thanks to Diecast Buffet for kind of, you know, making this a little bit uh, more possible and with at least, you know, some better quality. So right here on the hood, of course, we got the Monster Energy logo right there. Now, I like Pados. Like, it's not, I mean, they're not bad by any means in terms of quality, but there is a couple things like, if you look at the B posts and stuff, it's it's really hard to read. Like, I can print off better decals but in terms of like having a clear background they're pretty spot on they're really good with that so uh, it's kind of a sacrifice some people have to make so i mean i don't know i would much rather pr like you know just print my own but like as you can see right here there's these three tiny little dots those are supposed to be part of the camera and you can't you can't see them like you can barely tell them they're so just so tiny and so small they're really hard to see so personally, I would much rather print my own, but I mean, eh, I mean, I, I appreciate the decal sheets, and it was actually really fun uh, to have a learning experience with Pados, uh, just to see, you know, how different they are from a full-on sheet, and you don't have to cut out each and every one. So it was still some pretty good experience. Again, I I am super appreciative of the decal sets because they are actually pretty cool. I got Kurt Busch there. Again, see, like you can see the banner, like it's well, I kind of cut it off a little bit on accident, but like. It's, it's got like the white lines in it, which is weird. And again, that's why I print my own banners, even though like the text might be a little blurry, it's still, you know, like a solid black. There's that big old gash in the rear windshield that again, you know, didn't mean to do. Monster Energy right there again, like you can barely tell the Monster like logo is like, it's not as crisp as it should be. And then of course you got Energy right there on the bottom, which you can barely read. Now, if I were to print my own, you could still read them better than this. Now, of course, by all means, I'm not saying I'm better than Pados. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, like, I mean, it's a good quality 
sheet, but there's a lot of things that are so small to the point where when you put them on the car, you can't read them. So it's like, I don't know, it's kind of there just for the filler aspect, to be honest. Oh, it's like stuff like there, like, you know, you see the tail lights there? Not very, not very good, and I got a freaking paint chip because somebody, she actually just walked into the room, a certain, a certain cat likes to get up on my little table here and then just knock stuff off so i gotta replace or not replace it but i gotta fix that food city uh, i don't know what that one is there uh monster energy of course you got the tail lights camaro zeal one one elite got the number one and i think that's a monster uh, monster energy logo there it's again it's like some of the stuff is hard to tell uh monster energy right there so you got the monster energy actual m there uh oh i am missing a kurt bush thing because it just it came off and i didn't know until later like the b post you can you can't read the b post there's a number one there you can barely read those just barely you got the nascar cup series logo which isn't very you know clear same for the nascar race car that's just i don't know like i would much rather print my own to be honest so we got goodyear and then we got the sunoco down there the number one of course you got the front end here Lined it up pretty decently. This one's a little bit off, which I didn't know until now. Uh, we got Chip Ganassi. It was a little crooked. I don't know if that was the template or if that was, or the decal sheet, or if that was me. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, this, you know, die cast isn't really, like, it's not bad. But again, I would much rather just have my own because I would much rather print my own decals for free, pay for the ink, and pay for the sheets, and have my quality, which, I mean, again, it's not, like, amazing or anything. But I'd much rather have my quality than to pay for somebody else's quality if it's pretty much around the same quality as mine. Again, the only thing I have to deal with is the color matching. When you buy Pados, you do not have to worry about that whatsoever. I could have made a gold one for, for that matter and it not have to worry about it whatsoever. So that is one a huge plus for Pados is that like they're, they can print white. That is the main thing. They can print white, therefore they do not have to have a white back sheet. They can have a clear back sheet. So, you know, it makes it a lot easier. And over here, I'm not really that fancy, so I just have a printer that does not print white. It just uses the white on the sheet for the filler of, you know, whatever needs to be white. So, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not a huge difference, but it would be, it's much easier if... And I don't know, it's hard to explain. But either way, uh, yeah, this is what the build was. I think this is the first time I used Pados, or one of the first time I used Pados, and it's not bad, it's really not. But personally, I would not pay for them unless it was a scheme that I absolutely could not do, or something that I wanted to make a different color on. I could have done it like pink, or red, or you know, whatever. That would have been something that I would have bought just so I could do a different color. But as far as like actually having the correct color for the paint scheme, the correct like decals and stuff, I would just much rather print on myself. Because honestly, at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with either one. Whether it's mine or Pato's, I really don't care, so I feel like, you know, I should probably just stick with mine for now. But anyway, with that being said, that'll be all for this custom die cast review. We do have more customs coming soon. We do have to get through a pretty thick stack of next gen die casts, but... After we do that, we got a lot of customs uh, coming. I have a brand new wave that I'm about to put out, and I'm not talking about the Bristol Dirt wave. That one's already already been announced. But I've already got a new wave lined up. Is it? I think it's Raced Win. Yeah, it's a Raced Win wave. So we're going to be throwing that one out here uh, within the next couple of weeks, and then, of course, we're going to be doing some more customs to kind of throw out there. But nonetheless, once again, that'll be all for this custom diecast review. I do not mean to ramble on. I'm so sorry, but... Again, I will see you all in the next video.